Hello everyone. Welcome back to Frames of Nature, a channel about nature, photography and more. Music is the heart and soul of everything in nature. From the wonderful melodies of our avian friends the echoing calls of our mammalian cousins the rhythmic sounds of leaves swaying in a breeze to the humming sound of the wind finding its way through the thick undergrowth nature is filled with a lot of such amazing musical renditions among all these one resounding and resonating sound stands out think about the last time you walked or drove through the wilderness this sound should be quite familiar to you the symphony starts off on a low key it gradually increases in intensity peaks and then drops off into a lull an interlude of sorts in the overall composition before starting off again this rendition is the creation of millions of individuals of one type of an insect known as the cicada behold the insect musician the name cicada is derived from a latin word meaning tree cricket there are over 3000 species of cicadas described across the world many still to be described these are characterized by their prominent and widespread compound eyes short antennae and long clear membranous wings that lie folded on their backs A very interesting aspect about cicadas is that they spend most part of their life under the ground as nymphs. If you have seen my previous episode, you would already know what a nymph is. For those of you who haven't, nymph is a term used to refer to an immature form of an insect. Under the ground, the cicada nymphs are not hibernating. They are quite active, moving around and feeding on the sap of the trees which they suck from the tree's roots. When it is time these nymphs emerge out of the ground to live out their rather short adult lives different species of cicadas have different timelines of emergence there are annual cicadas which come out every year and there are the periodical cicadas which emerge in the range of once in every 13 to once in every 17 years when they emerge they do so in huge numbers millions of them coming out at the same time As soon as they emerge the first thing they got to do is go through a process known as molting as they turn into adults molting is necessary for insects because unlike human skin which stretches as we age the skin of insects their exoskeleton is hard they have to shed the existing one to gain a new one as they grow so the cicada nymph burrowing out of the ground finds the nearest plant tree or any sturdy surface to molt the nymph's exoskeleton cracks open and the adult with a brand new skin starts popping out this is a gradual process and takes time the cicada starts pushing itself out of its old skin even after the entire adult is out its skin is still very soft it takes time for the bodily fluids to circulate across and harden as the exoskeleton hardens its color also becomes darker and finally turns into the actual colors of the adult cicada after becoming an adult the next immediate need is to find a mate this is where the calls of the cicada come into play one thing to note is that it is the male cicadas which call out while the females don't however both possess a structure called tympanum which enables them to detect sounds equivalent of having ears now let us see how male cicadas are able to create their amazing sound 
Male cicadas have two small drum-like organs called timbals on either side of their abdomens. These are made of membranous portions and thickened ribs. You can imagine them as the strings of a guitar or a violin. On the right side of the image here, you have the magnified section of the sound making organ. The timbals are connected to a pair of timbal muscles. When the cicada contracts these muscles, the timbal buckles and the ribs get pulled together, creating a clicking sound. When the muscle is relaxed, the timbals return to their original position and the ribs are let go, producing another clicking sound. Cicada is able to flex these muscles repeatedly at very high speeds, as high as 300 times per second, turning these clicks into one continuous note. The abdomen of the male cicada is mostly hollow with an air cavity which acts as a sound box or a resonance chamber, amplifying the sound produced by the timbals multifold. By altering the clicking pattern, different species of cicadas are able to produce distinctive sounds ensuring that only the appropriate mates are attracted. When thousands of these insects are calling out together, that is when there is this amazingly orchestrated symphony known as the chorus. Cicada calls can be really loud, especially at close quarters. Some can produce sounds upwards of 120 decibels. Also, the interesting thing is that the males disable their own tympana or ears while calling to prevent damage to their own hearing. Once the lady is attracted and they mate, the female lays her eggs in small grooves on tree branches. After hatching, the young nymphs fall to the ground and burrow inside. They live and grow under the ground till the time is right for them to emerge back out again. Hope that was useful. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.